I'm Sarah Postalka, the Animal Enrichment Program Manager for the Michigan Humane Society here at the Berman Center for Animal Care in Westland. And today I have with me Sabrina. Sabrina is a four-month-old puppy who came into the shelter because her owner could no longer care for her. She's fun, energetic, and she has a lot of manners to learn. Sabrina is a typical adolescent. She is really energetic. She hasn't had much time in a home to learn how to appropriately interact with people. So she's gonna need a lot of work with positive reinforcement training. She likes to chew a lot, so it's gonna be important to provide her with lots of toys and lots of training time. It's always beneficial to take your dog to positive reinforcement obedience classes just to help develop a bond between you and your dog and to help them learn what your expectations are. Sabrina is looking for a home with um, energetic owners who don't have young kids around so Sabrina can learn how to act appropriately with people. She is very mouthy, she's jumpy, and she's very playful. So she needs someone that has a lot of time and patience to spend time with her so that she becomes a very nice and polite young dog. If you're interested in adopting Sabrina, you could come to the Berman Center for Animal Care on Newburgh Road in Westland. All you'd need to do is come in, meet with her, fall in love, and take her home the very same day. Sabrina's already spayed, and she's had her age-appropriate vaccines along with the dewormer as well. I'm always on the go. I would enjoy exercise, training, and playing with you. I love to be pet and touched. You can pet me anytime. I'm very active and may accidentally knock down or intimidate small kids. I did have doggy friends in my previous home. I don't have a history with cats, so please introduce me to yours slowly. I'm not quite full grown. My adult size may be large. I probably won't shed much. I'm ready to start my house training lessons. I enjoy meeting all sorts of people here and I would definitely benefit from some additional training time. I still have a few manners to learn. This is Stanley. Stanley is a domestic long-haired cat. He's about 10 years old. Stanley came in as a stray about a month and a half ago. He's been with us. He's gotten a lot of uh, vet care with us. He did get sick, he got a little upper respiratory infection, which is very common around shelters, so we were able to treat him for that. He's all better, but he also had to have some blood work. Since he is an older gentleman, we wanted to make sure that everything was okay with his blood work, and it does turn out that he does have a hypothyroid problem. So he's currently on medication, and it'll probably be a lifelong medication. So Stanley needs a home that'll be able to care for that particular medical problem and as well as give him a very loving home. Stanley is a staff and volunteer favorite because he's so tolerant of handling, he loves attention, he seeks it out and headbutts you, loves to sit on your lap and just wants attention and to, to lay down with people. Stanley needs a nice quiet home. He's an older gentleman, so he's not gonna wanna play a lot, but he he's gonna want a lot of attention. So any loving family that wants to come in and adopt Stanley can just come to the Berman Center for Animal Care, meet with him, fall in love, and take him home the very same day. Stanley also has some tartar on his teeth, so he does have a waiver on him for a dental grade two 
Um, what that means is he's an older kitty and his teeth are not in the same shape they were when he was younger. So you'll want to keep him monitored with your vet so that he gets the proper dental care and he doesn't have any issues later on in life. I'm pretty low key. I like to relax with you. I love to be petted and touched. You can pet me anytime. I don't have a history with children, so please let me meet yours first. I don't have a history with dogs. I don't have a history with cats. You can expect me to shed a bit, but frequent brushing will help. I'm full grown and not declawed. I use my litter box consistently. I enjoy meeting all sorts of people here, and I'm ready to find my forever family. There are volunteers that come in and spend time with Stanley, as well as the rest of the animals. It's a really rewarding experience. What you would need to do is just go online, www.michiganhumane.org, hit our little volunteer link, and fill out an application. There are a ton of opportunities, not only working with cats or dogs, but also with some of our small domestics, like rabbits and guinea pigs. And there's also administrative work as well. So there are so many opportunities that we have as volunteers, and we would love to have you come hang out with us. You don't have to have experience with animals. We have a lot of training opportunities so that we can get you acclimated to the safest way to handle animals. We have people that come in and hang out with the cats. And what that does for the cats is it gives them special attention on a daily basis from people. Social interactions are very important to keep our animals happy and healthy. And we have a lot of volunteers that are really patient and spend the time training and working with our animals to make them feel a lot happier while they're in this environment.